Hi there. When you share your story with people, not just through fiction writing, there are a few prerequisites and conditions based on which you convey your point. But for the purpose of today's video, I will start off with a disclaimer. This disclaimer is for all those who write their way to glory. In the world of novel writing, it is a pantser who begins without much planning and continues to write in a manner that they cannot possibly know the next big turn in their stories forget how their stories will end if you are one and are able to write with a free flowing consistency i recommend you write as you've been writing however if you think that the video may add to or improve upon your ways of writing you are most welcome to watch it till the end through this video i will share with you my top 3 reasons to write the ending of your novel first well now that you know how today's video is going to end let's get started with the beginning reason number 1 better interconnections this is more of an introspection and no i'm not going to talk about how we began today's video but about how we find it easier to look back at our own past for example and take our guesses at how things have progressed since then It is only when I look back that I am able to connect the dots to see how everything has logically fallen into place. The point here is we all deduce the course of action of our stories with logical and emotional milestones with relative ease when we know how a story is going to end. But if we deal with situations as we come to face them, staying on the course becomes a challenge. We may end up taking alternative courses that deviate us from where we intended the stories to end. Therefore, I suggest writing based on a plan. The plan will help you create better interconnections. So for everything that your characters do or think, the readers will know how and why. Any parallel ideas that you come across at the spur of the moment will then only add to your story and not replace it. Reason number 2: Better characters. Once you know what you are going to do with your protagonist or antagonist toward the end of the story or an episode in their story you just have to make the story move from point a to point b where point a is how it all begins and point b is how it all ends it is like a mathematical equation where you know the result all you need to do is place variables and create stepped instructions to help readers derive that result an ending after all is what it is So it must be that concluding point where all the lives involved in the story cross their path to create a wholesome experience for the readers. It is the place where the protagonist conquers the inevitable, avenges the death of the innocent beings and earns their qualification as worthy of the throne or magical powers. Basically, simply set things right. Whenever I write, I want at least two people in my story to have a plan. The hero and the villain reason number 3 better control on back stories if i were to consider writing as a jungle and the writer as a person treading through it back stories would be those beautiful flowers that deviate the writer's path they are those small treasures that writers wish to collect along the way initially it gives joy unspeakable but along the way there are two possibilities one where the writer could have more back stories and would leave no space or energy to look for the destination two where the writer could reach an altogether new different destination even worse the writer could end up with both if you as the writer know from where you must begin treading along and to where you must lead chances are that you will pick up only those back stories that add to the reader's experience you could then control the pace at which you travel toward the destination which could then become more enjoyable for the reader in turn you could then enthrall them with all your attention no questions asked time for some bonus for the purpose of the video we will call it the ending as the beginning There are chances that you may want your story to begin with a spoiler alert or the ending itself in which case you will want to know how it ends before you take the readers along the journey but i always like to see the brighter side of things 
who knows you might want to take the protagonist along another journey with bigger challenges meaner villains and steeper peaks to conquer if you know how and where the story ends you may lure yourself into writing about what happens next i'm sure that even you think that it now is a little too cliched and boring to end your stories with and the lived happily ever after maybe you could even have a conditional ending in which case you could write something like and they lived happily ever after until one night when it comes to writing there isn't one recommended method everyone has their own styles and preferences if you are comfortable with writing or flying by the seat of your pants you are free to choose to write that way there are a lot of well known authors who don't have anything other than the basic plan chalked out before they seat themselves to write however i have found it rather easy and effortless to write when i create a spreadsheet of all events chapters and scenes before i sit down to write in essence the task of writing in my case is the second last step in the process of writing you could choose whatever style you wish the readers will hardly ever know the difference if you have liked this video please subscribe to my channel i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now